What's up, guys? Today we're going to go into more depth on the online databases and talk today about the Gale database. So like in our previous video, to get there, you go to the Hillcrest website, click on library, and you'll see library online resources and you click that. Go ahead and bookmark this page if you want to skip all those um, previous steps. And like we showed you before, these are all of the different databases. But today we're going to be focusing on how on what is available through Gale. So when you get there, you're going to go to high school and click on Hillcrest. Now, when you're on campus, it's probably not going to tell you to log in. But if you are logging in, it's always your student ID and the password are the last four numbers of your ID. So here are all the different databases separated by category inside of Gale. Now these are, there's so many, and you can go through all of these. We don't really need to go into each one uh, because you can start exploring for yourself. But the ones that are most popular for general research are going to be Academic One File, General One File, are the top two that you're, you can use through Gale. Now, of course, you can go through and use whichever one of these you want to. There's some that are very um, specific, like to science or to some uh, literature. There's even environmental studies. Um, something that's more specific here, there's even an automotive library on um, how to repair different kinds of automobiles. I mean, it gets very, very detailed. But let's look at, let's go to Academic One File. So when you click on that, this is what the landing page of all your databases are going to look like. So even if I did this one file, they look almost, they are exactly the same, you know, minus the title. So what you're going to do is you just search here. So um, let's say we're going to look up um, anti-racist or anti-racism, which is a current topic that's, a lot of students are researching right now. And what's going to happen is all of these, let me focus for you a bit. Um, it's going to show you what's available in these different formats. Over here, you can actually search by date. You can filter. So you can do it by date, by title, by what kind of type, uh, document type. And here, full text documents means that you're going to find an actual PDF file of a full document. Peer Review Journal, if you click on that, it'll automatically switch it to where you can, now you can see that you have some peer-reviewed articles. Peer-reviewed articles are scholarly articles, so those are going to be ones that are from actual academic journals. So all you have to do after this is start reading through all of your titles and see if they even have anything to do with what you're researching. If I just wanted to do anti-racism in America, I don't think I would have to uh, look at this article, which is in the Netherlands. So that's not even something I'm going to want to look at. So the first thing you do is look at a title. Now, if you do find an article that you like and you click on it, this is what it looks like. Okay, It looks like a lot, but it's really not that hard to follow. It highlights for you the date, that way you can see how current it is, the author, where the journal was from, and what kind of the document type that it is. Okay, now over here is the actual full article. And then here you can send it straight to your Google Drive, which I really recommend that you do, and that, that'll be a different video on how to organize your Google Drive. Or you can download it as a PDF or straight up print it if you want to print it. I highly recommend you send it to your drive, download it, save it to wherever you want to save it. And of course you can print it, but do that last after you saved everything. So you can even email it to yourself too. So if you click download, of course it's going to pop up like a PDF here at the bottom of your downloads, but you can um, scroll through it to see if that's something that is going to be good for your type of research for your paper. What is really cool about this too is that up here where it says site, you can actually choose MLA, APA, or Chicago, whichever one your teacher is requiring of you. Copy and paste that um, into your doc. 
and um, save that there. That way you can already start your citation page if you know for sure you're going to be using that as a citation. So everything is literally there for you. Now let's go back to the Gale, actually, uh, the Gale databases and you can see here that um, there's some things that are probably you won't ever use like the National Geographic Kids, but maybe you will use it. You know, you never know because you might be doing some sort of research on something for kids, you know, or something from a different viewpoint. So it's actually really cool how much Gale has to offer. There are um, some of them that I'm a little disappointed in, but you can go through and see for yourself. So in our next video, I will go over some tips and tricks on how to scan through all these different articles that you find and seeing which are relevant, which aren't relevant, and also some ideas and tips on saving your stuff to your Google Drive or on your computer, whatever you're most comfortable with. All right, guys, so see you in the next video.